Bang, bang, and bang. Three slips yesterday, my friends, on Fireside Bets. All hit with ease. Nice, easy, clean work. The Knicks game, sweat-free. If you were following us for this, you made some money yesterday. We had DiVincenzo, 15 points. Steph Curry, 20 points. Josh Hart with eight rebounds. Easily cleared. By the way, Josh Hart, absolute monster. Dude just does not stop running. He played every single minute yesterday. Hit 11 rebounds. Cleared that with ease. Sweat-free betting here if you guys want. Some sweat-free bets. We got you every single day. And here we have... Josh Hart, eight rebounds again. Brunson, 25-plus points, gets 34, almost a third consecutive 40-point game for Brunson. DiVincenzo, 10 points. Kuminga, 10 points. Dream on Green, four rebounds. Easy work there. Celtics money line for our third slip with Afrony Simons, 20-plus points. Brunson, two made threes. And Austin Reeves, 10 points. All of them basically sweat-free. You couldn't have made an easier buck yesterday if you tried on Fireside Bets. We've got you guys covered. Two more slips today on Tuesday. The slate isn't necessarily great, but we, we found some really good value plays I think you guys are going to like balancing out some money lines and some player props to get us over plus 100 on a lot of these bets only two slips today but I think they're good value Ryan how you feeling about the big wins yesterday I'm hyped I know everyone that followed and tailed us is hyped I made a couple bucks today I'm gonna go get some sandwiches yeah, absolutely. And look, when you see all that green, you got to put the shades to block it out. Uh, you know, I got to keep my eyes safe here. Uh, but no, so in all seriousness, I mean, if you follow the Knicks, if you understand how Tom Thibodeau coaches, you know that a guy like Josh Hart, especially with OJ and Obi out, is going to get an increase in minutes. You look at that Warriors defense, it's fundamentally very flawed, and the Knicks are a very aggressive team on the perimeter, especially looking at Dante DiVincenzo, especially in that third quarter. Things get a little bit dicey. The Warriors cut the lead to six. What do the Knicks do? Rely on their perimeter scoring, and DiVincenzo is their secondary scorer right now with Randall out looking at Brunson that 25 plus points I mean Jalen Brunson is one of the best scores in the NBA if you don't think he's the number one option and a consistent superstar level scorer you're missing out on money here because you're gonna get some pretty good value on 25 plus points on even 20 plus points on occasions and this is a guy who's gonna always get the buck who's always gonna take enough shots who's always gonna be aggressive enough and for the most part is gonna play enough minutes because he plays on a Tom Thibodeau team so for the Knicks when you're looking at volume plays like points rebounds assists they're a great team to look at especially when you look at the favorites that Thibodeau has again hard uh, DiVincenzo McBride is a guy that you could actually start looking at now because of the fact that he could start with Ananobi out and then when looking at the Warriors I mean Steph Curry is he had a bad night and he still easily got over that 20 line because he's one of the most skilled scorers in the NBA it's a great day for us because you go three for three that's a pretty good day and end of the day gotta feel good about yesterday feel great about yesterday